I came across chemical engineering just by accident uh, whilst I was looking at universities. Um, I sat in the wrong lecture theatre and by the end of the talk there was this whole theme of making a change and I realised that perhaps by being an engineer um, I can deliver that change better. When I was going through different universities, I came across Sheffield and it was definitely the most welcoming and the most friendly and they had a support network in place which was exactly what I needed. It has only been five months since I've joined Arup, but I guess the highlight of my career so far uh, has been the fact that I'm treated and respected as an engineer. They let me be an individual, I've not had to change myself to adapt or I've not had to um, to, to fit in in any way or form, they've accepted me for who I am. There's a perfect balance of the, the techno-economic as well as with the social responsibilities that we have as an engineer here. Arup's not just about pretty buildings, but it's actually, we particularly help our clients meet their uh, carbon reduction targets, making uh, energy more available, making it more user-friendly. It's nice being part of, of, of a company that, uh, that acknowledges its responsibilities as engineers um, and acts to quite literally shape a better world. Chemical engineering um, allowed me to gain the tools to think like an engineer um, and I think that's the most important and the most fundamental thing that I've gotten out of my degree is to be able to walk away and solve problems, have a methodology um, and be creative with what I do and I think our values free thinkers and hence why I have adjusted so well in the team because they're all open to new ideas and, and, and innovative solutions. The most exciting and the most challenging part of this job at Arab is it's so client specific, um, no two solutions are ever the same, no two problems are ever the same and I think that's what keeps it really really exciting. During my time at university I got involved uh, quite extensively in extracurricular um, as it's something that I started off doing to basically build myself as a person, gain, gain skills that I know I'll need in, in the job place and, and I truly believe that I'm probably sat where I am thanks to the skills that I gained whilst doing my extracurricular activities that involve things like being president of the Chemical Engineering Society as well as the Pakistani Society, uh, working as part of Engineering Without Borders, delivering outreach programmes to young people which I've luckily enough been able to uh, carry through to Arab and is what I'm doing right now as well. Yes I am an engineer but at the same time I am a consultant uh, which involves me having the correct communication skills being able to speak to clients and address their problems um, appropriately uh, as well as having the leadership skills and, and the ownership to and to take responsibility of the work that I've done um, and, and delivering that. Quite honestly, the best thing about being an engineer is being called an engineer, is having earned that title um, and accepting the responsibilities that come with it and just knowing that you can make a change.